All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of this Jimmy Dean breakfast bowl. All right, this is the Meat Lovers. I guess, there, I don't know if there's other versions, but it says Meat Lovers. Um, normally $17.29, uh, it was $4.30 off, so basically about $13. Get eight individual bowls. <clears throat> All right, and you can see potatoes, sausage, cage-free eggs, cheddar cheese, and bacon. All right, 23 grams of protein per serving, cooked, th cooked thoroughly, made with eggs, laid by hens in an environment without cages, serving suggestion, and keep frozen and enlarged to show details. I don't know why they put this in like <laughs> all separate things, that's kind of weird. Net weight, 56 ounces, 3.5 pounds, 1.58 kilograms, U.S. inspected and passed by Department of Agriculture. Right, and it says they're individually wrapped for resale. So if you own a store, have a point of sale system, you can put these in there and sell them separately. Okay, you can see the bottom of the packaging. Giant barcode here. All right, it says to use by January 10th, 2023. Um, so it is August 30th. So what's that? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, four months. All right, so you can't really store these too long, considering they're like a frozen thing, but here you can see, All right? Follow cooking instructions for quality and safety. Keep frozen until ready to use. Do not cook in toaster oven. Um, and then they have it in Spanish. <clears throat> so, let's see, this is, the instructions are for a 1,100 watt oven, microwave oven. So if you have a lower wattage microwave oven, you might have to cook it longer. So to cook it, you prepare it first, remove the carton, puncture the film, and then to cook it, you microwave for two minutes on high, um, peel back the film, stir it, put the film back over it, and cook again for another minute. So three minutes of cook time. Um, I don't know why you would puncture. You can just peel a tiny bit out of it open, I guess, but let's see. All right, so it's taped up. Oops, I forgot to show you all the nutrition facts. Go. Oh. You can read all this, and if you have questions and stuff, you can call or write to them or find them online. Serving size is one bowl, right? Um, 480 calories per bowl. Lots, most of the calories are from fat, apparently. 330 calories, jeez. 37 grams of fat, 57%. Wow, look how much fat this is in one bowl. <laughs> 500 calories, and you're already getting 75% of your fat. That's crazy. 70% of your cholesterol. This this sounds like a bowl that's going to like kill you. <laughs> Look at so, so much salt, fat and cholesterol. Okay, this sounds like America's problems in a bowl. <laughs> All right. Then you got <clears throat> Okay, not many carbs, not a little bit of fiber, 8%, and then um, at least it doesn't have crazy amount of sugar. So if you pour in a bunch of sugar, then you got America all in a bowl. <laughs> America's diet in a bowl. <laughs> Protein, 23 grams. Okay. Got some vitamin A, 15%. Calcium, 25%. And a little iron. I don't know why they like to put these like 0% things on the label. You might like, is it just to make it look uniform? So you have four. Like, I don't understand the point of that. But anyways, maybe it has like 0.001% and they're like, we'll just put it there. <laughs> Alright, here you can see the ingredients. <clears throat> Diced potatoes, potatoes, soybean oil, maltodextrin salt, dextrose, tetrasodium, pyrophosphate, and disodium dihydrogen pyrophosphate to maintain natural color. Cooked pork sausage, crumb crumbles, caramel color added. Uh, pork water contains 2% or less of salt, sugar, spices, natural flavor with maltodextrin, succinic acid, sodium phosphates, caramel color, cage-free pre-cooked scrambled eggs are whole eggs, skim milk, soybean oil, cornstarch, salt, xanthan gum, citric, and citric acid. Then the shredded cheddar cheese is pasteurized milk, salt, cheese culture enzymes, annatto color, powdered cellulose to prevent caking. Natamycin, a natural mold inhibitor, water, bacon cured with water, salt, sugar, sodium phosphates, sodium erythrol, blah, 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 sodium nitrate, smoke, and smoke flavoring. Contains eggs and milk, so if you have egg or milk allergies or intolerances, then just be careful with these. Have a bathroom nearby or an EpiPen or whatever you need. 
Then you got um, the barcode here, okay? And flatten before recycling. Okay, they don't have an easy way to open this, but they messed up the tape, so I guess I have a way to open this without using a knife or scissors. Okay, oops, I messed it up. Okay, here we go. So I'm opening it upside down, but that's okay. Oh, they're actually not in individual bowls. They're actually in individual boxes. Interesting. So the packaging has that peel off, has the expiration date, all the information you need. Okay, same stuff. I'm assuming this barcode's different because you're buying just one bowl and not like a whole box. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like. So if you have an issue with freezer space, you can have all these little boxes and you can throw them all wherever you have room. So that's good. All right. And then other nice thing with this is if you throw away the box, you have all the instructions here, or you can just come back to my video and watch that again. All right, anyways, we're gonna open this up, peel this off, okay? Then it opens like that. This is what the bowl looks like. The stuff is just sifts around, so it's not like stuck together with water or anything. I wonder how they keep it loose like that. Anyways, they said puncture the film, microwave for two minutes, peel the film, stir it up, and then microwave for one more minute. So I'm gonna microwave this for two minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so it's finished microwaving for two minutes. We're gonna peel this back. You wanna pull this way, be careful, because if you pull up like this, you're gonna get a bunch of hot steam on your hand. You don't want that. Okay, we're gonna stir it up. You can see all the melted cheese. Zoom in a bit. Okay, and then we're gonna microwave it for one more minute. How does this have so much saturated fat? Is it from the sausage or do eggs give that much? <laughs> There's not much of the bacon stuff. Is it? Yeah, bacon. Like, the bacon bits. There's not much. So maybe the cheese and the sausage. Okay. Alright, scrape this off, we'll cover it back up, and we'll cook it for one more minute. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, so cooking time is done, let's go ahead and peel this all the way off. I just ate a hospital flavored <laughs> no, root beer ice cream bar. Um, <clears throat> so my teeth are cold, so I probably shouldn't eat this right away. <laughs> okay, do you want to try it first? Don't burn your hands, it's really hot. So the bottom is really hot, you don't want to grab the bottom of the bowl. And you might have to let it cool down a little bit. Let's see. Hmm. 165 degrees internal temperature. It's definitely over that. It's good. It's probably what you would expect a bowl of eggs, cheese, bacon, and Italian sausage tastes like. <laughs> Salty. Salty. <laughs> okay, Not let me try. Not worth all the fat. Hmm. Pretty good. I wouldn't really buy this that often, mainly because I think the price. <laughs> Like if it's not on sale, what's that price? Seventeen twenty nine, over two dollars a bowl. Yeah, I, I, I don't feel like I would pay two dollars a bowl for this. Um, I mean, for what you get, it's fine, but I need other stuff for two dollars a bowl. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty good. It's what you would expect it to taste like. Lots of potato eggs you don't really taste cheese but I guess it holds it all together um to be honest the bacon flavor is also like minimal I don't taste much bacon it, it mostly tastes like egg potato and the sausage to me one more okay so that's pretty much it. I'll finish this all off camera because you don't need me need to see me eat a whole bowl of this. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.